So that sets the stage for tonight's game against Stanford. Now, Fresno State only has to win once out of potentially the next two games. If the Bulldogs lose tonight, they could still win tomorrow and be regional champs heading to a super regional either at Mississippi State or at Miami. But of course, we want to talk about what's right in front of us, and we have a couple of gentlemen here to share the experience with. Aaron Arruda played for the Bulldogs, also went to Buchanan High School. Nolan Dempsey's father, Justin Wilson's father, who he still follows the Bulldogs, even though Justin Wilson hasn't been a Bulldog since the 2008 season, that national championship season. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Aaron, we'll start with you because your brother, JT Arruda, is on the team. How much fun has it been to watch the Bulldogs this season? It's just been a joy. I mean, uh, getting to know all these guys from playing with them the last couple years and playing with them in high school and all that stuff. It's just been a joy. They're, they play so loose and they're, they're just hot right now. They're just, I don't know why, but they're just unbelievable right now. Now, are you a little jealous because JT gets to play in a regional and you unfortunately never did? A little bit, yes, but um, I have more whole career home runs than him, so I have that one thing on him, but he he does play in the regional, so I will always be jealous because of that. Love the brotherly rivalry. All right, let's welcome in Nolan Dempsey's dad, Dave Dempsey. Nolan had that home run last night that tied the game. How proud were you? What did you scream in the stands when you saw that go out of the park? Oh, my God, I don't know how many times I said, let's go, but I lost my voice, as you might be able to tell, but I... It was incredible to watch, and I was like, it was let's go, just like he was doing when he was flexing his muscles, which showing a little emotion for him was, says, it kind of marks the moment. It's a regional, but she shows no emotion. So to see him come back in the dugout and show some emotion was pretty awesome. Now, we had Nolan in studio with us a couple of Sundays ago, and I mentioned to him the fact that he's not from Fresno, but he really is part of this community. Do you feel like you've been embraced by the Bulldog fans because of not only what Nolan has done, but you and the entire family? You're here to support Fresno State. Oh, my God. Totally embraced by the Fresno community. And the fact that it's regional right down the street from us, we're a San Carlos family on the peninsula. Um, but to see everybody from Fresno is just uh, completely amazing. And uh, yeah, he feels like a true bulldog, you know, bulldog bred, bulldog always. So. All right. Well, that certainly stands the test of time with Mr. Wilson over here. Justin was obviously the, the pitcher of record in that clinching game against Georgia back in 2008. You're at all the games. Why is it still so important for you to support Fresno State, even though your son hasn't pitched for the Bulldogs in 11 years? Well, I'm from Clovis, you know, and the Bulldogs are what, are, what it's about. You know, I love to see what's going on today. Coach Batesville, Batesville and the, the support of this team, the communities behind this thing, and it's time to get behind them again because these guys are real. They can go, and uh, it's time for the community to support this team. They're good. Justin currently pitching in the bigs with the Mets. Update us on how he's doing. He's on the injured list right now. Yes, he's got some inflammation in his elbow, but uh, he's coming around. He's throwing a bullpen on Monday, so I think maybe it's another five to seven days and he'll be ready to go, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. All right, glad to hear it. Before we let you guys go, prediction tonight. Aaron, what happens? Fresno State wins. What's the score? Six to four. Okay, Mr. Dempsey. Fresno State, five to three. Okay, Mr. Wilson. Fresno State, seven zero. 7-0. If they could put seven runs on the board for at least the previous, well, that would be three games in a row because they scored seven against uh, UC, or excuse me, nine against UC Santa Barbara, seven against Stanford. We'll see what happens. Our thanks to these gentlemen. We'll let them go inside and actually watch the game. More Bulldog Insider when we come back. Go